Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very exponential, very Eulerian equation. I don't know if that's a word. I just made it up. But obviously, E is Euler's number. It's about 2.7. That's all I know about it. You know, there's a limit. There's a couple things like if you differentiate E to the X, you get the same thing, so on and so forth. Anyways, we get an equation full of E's. And we're going to solve it by using one of the most powerful tools that we have in our arsenal. We should have it. I mean, math arsenal. Uh, and that is substitution. Sub it. So what can I sub? I can go ahead and replace e to the power x with something. How about setting e to the power x equal to u? Okay, we have it used for a while. So let's go ahead and do it. This is going to become u cubed minus u squared equals u. Great, so let's put everything on the same side. Oh, by the way, did I tell you? I'm going to show you a graph at the end, which is actually really cool. Anyways, so this is a polynomial equation, which is factorable. U is a common factor. Take it out. And then from here, you get some possibilities. Like, what are some of the possibilities? Uh, you can be 0, right? Or you can be... Uh, roots of this quadratic equation. Okay, I forgot what to say. So this quadratic equation is special because it should remind you or remember, uh, help you remember something about golden ratio maybe, right? Okay, so u equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, plus 4, which is 5. Do you get the idea? Square root of 5 pops up. And these are the roots. Great. Let's go ahead and split it up. u sub 1 equals 0 u sub 1 equals 1 plus root 5 over 2, and let u sub 2 be 1 minus root 5 over 2. So we have to, uh, three solutions. Awesome. 1, 2, and 3. It's cubic, so it's normal, right? Now, this is not the end goal. We're solving for x, right, aren't we? So let's go ahead and back substitute, replace u with e to the power x, u with e to the power x. So u is equal to 0, meaning e to the power x is 0. Now think about it. Is there any real solutions? No. Unless x is approaching negative infinity, e to the power x is not going to approach 0. So we're talking about approaching here, not being equal to. And infinity is not a number, nor is negative infinity. So there are no real solutions. Are there complex solutions to this equation? I don't think so. If you know any other solutions besides real numbers, please let us know in the comment section down below. Now, this doesn't give us anything, so we're just going to totally forget about it and look at the second one. u sub 1 is 1 plus root 5 over 2. So u equals e to the x, and that is equal to 1 plus e to the f 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Well, is this the golden ratio? Okay, let's see. Let's natural log both sides because that's basically the method for finding the exponent right and since we have an e at the base it this makes lots of sense so let's go ahead and move this x to the front properties of logs ln e is one so we get x equals ln or natural log of 1 plus root 5 over 2 whatever that number is you can use a calculator but if you want the exact solution this is the exact solution. Alrighty? Cool, cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other solution, which is kind of more interesting. Why? Because 1 minus root 5 over 2 is less than 0. And you're supposed to, that's such a weird 2, you're supposed to set it equal to what? e to the power x, right? So e to the power x, come on, notability, e to the power x equals 1 minus root 5 over 2. Awesome, but not so awesome, because 1 minus root 5 over 2 is negative. So there's no real solutions, but don't worry, we're going to find complex solutions. And at the end, we're going to look at the graph, but is the graph going to show the complex solution? Think about it, and we'll answer that hopefully when we get to the graph. So how do you manage to solve it? So here's what you can do. First of all, turn the right-hand side to a complex number. 
So this is negative. It's kind of like a negative one uh, multiply by some number, right? Or yeah, exactly. And its uh, absolute value is going to be the opposite because this is a negative number. So we have a number that is 1 minus root 5 over 2 whose distance from 0 is root 5 minus 1 over 2. So r is going to be root 5 minus 1 over 2. That is the modulus or the absolute value, whatever you want to call it. All right? Now let's go ahead and look at the angle, the argument, ARG, right? And the ARG that the number makes with the x-axis or the real axis, what we call it, is pi radians, right? Or 108 degrees, but pi is better. So pi radians tells us that theta is pi, r is root 5 minus 1 over 2, and you can write our number z, let's call this number z, as r times e to the power i theta. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's rock and roll. e to the x equals z, which is r, which is root 5 minus 1 over 2, multiply by e to the power i times theta, and theta is pi. Well, one thing about this is this is the principal branch because we can make one more rotation and we're just going to give us 3 pi. So we can add 2 pi to it. We can add 2 pi to it and we can basically add multiples of 2 pi. So to take care of that, we're going to replace pi with 2 and pi or we're just going to add 2 and pi to it. Make sense? And obviously this could be simplified a little bit how we can kind of write it like this times e to the power 2n plus 1 times pi i. Okay, doesn't matter where you write the i, it's just going to be multiplied. Cool, cool. Now, to solve for x, we need to natural log both sides, but notice that we didn't do it right away because if we did, then we would come up with something like this. What is ln 1 minus root 5 over 2? We would still have to convert it to complex numbers because in the real numbers this is undefined, okay? So, here's what we have. We are ready to, what? Natural log both sides. Let's do it and get the answer. Natural log of e to the x equals natural log of root 5 minus 1 over 2 multiplied by e to the power 2n plus 1. By the way, this just means odd multiples of pi because that's where the negative numbers are. No complex or no imaginary part, just purely imaginary numbers. Then they don't have an imaginary, well, I should say no real parts, right? Or the other way around. Anyways, you get the idea. Hopefully I just messed up. So, okay, I'm confusing myself here. Let's go ahead and move the x to the front like before. X becomes this. But before I leave it like a mess, let's go ahead and separate them. Ln AB is Ln A plus Ln B. Right. So if you use it, Ln root 5 minus 1 over 2. By the way, this is a real number because root 5 minus 1 over 2 is positive. You're positive, right? Plus, plus Ln e to the power. Can I just write it? Okay, fine. I'm just going to write it like this and then convert it. All right. And now we can write it as Ln root 5 minus 1 over 2 plus 2n plus 1 pi i. And that is going to be our what? Complex non-real solution. And what was the other solution? x equals Ln 1 plus root 5 over 2. There are two solutions. One is real, one is non-real. The other e to the x is equal to 0 doesn't give us anything. As far as I know, if you do know something else, please let me know. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.